Hi everyone, konnichiwa na san. Welcome to Cookmas Day 6, and today we are making gingerbread house mug toppers. So these look like little mini gingerbread houses, but they actually fit on the rims of your mug. So this is like tea and cookies, but to the next level. And so this isn't a new idea. These are like all over Pinterest and all over the internet, but they're so cute, so I, I knew that I had to try it out. This gingerbread recipe tastes so good, and you can make them into whatever kind of style house that you like. You can have little regular like scalloped roofs, or you can have pink roofs, or you can have whatever you like. And I mean, you could potentially even, let's see, I always have a mug next to me, seriously. I have a Keurig, I never use it. I always go to Starbucks. Oh, 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 it fits! Yay, so you could even put them on your Starbucks mug. Oh, that's so cute, actually, oh my gosh. See, Starbucks should be silly, no, no. Starbucks should sponsor me, and then I can make these for Starbucks. That's what Starbucks should do. If anyone from Starbucks is watching, please. Anyway, okay, so, um, let's get, <laughs> so let's get started and build some gingerbread houses. So first, we're gonna make the cookies. What you wanna do is combine the flour, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, baking soda, and salt, and then set that aside. Heat the butter and brown sugar with an electric mixer until it's smooth. Add the molasses and egg and mix until combined. Then add the dry ingredients and mix until just combined. Divide the dough into two balls and wrap them in plastic wrap. Refrigerate them for one hour or until they're firm. Then roll the dough out onto a floured surface until it's about an eighth of an inch thick. So I'll have a template on my blog as a guide. You want to make paper templates of each wall and cut out two house fronts, two walls, and two roofs for each house. Then transfer the cookies to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Bake the cookies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes until the edges begin to darken. Transfer the cookies to a wire rack and cool them completely. So to make the icing, place the confectioner's sugar, meringue powder, and water into a bowl and beat with an electric mixer for about 10 to 12 minutes. Then place the mixture in a piping bag, fit it with a round tip. So to build the houses, first you want to decorate the cookies in any way that you like. And so you can sprinkle the icing with some sugar to give them a little bit of texture. And I've gone into a lot more detail in the type recipe to give you an idea of how to do this. So make sure to check the link in the description box for the full recipe. Then use the icing to attach the walls and roof. Set the houses aside and let the icing fully harden. Then stick the houses onto the rim of some mugs to serve and you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching. These would make such a cute little gift for anybody or for people at your office because it's small but it's super, super cute and it's edible. And tomorrow is another cookie recipe but it's not gingerbread so if you're not a fan of gingerbread but still want some cute holiday cookies, tomorrow's recipe would be perfect. So I love you guys so much and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. Yeah, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Hi everyone, konnichiwa minasan. Welcome to Cookmas Day 6. Oh, again, I think I'm getting sick. And welcome to Cookmas Day 6, and today we are making gingerbread mug toppers. No, no, gingerbread house. And welcome to Cookmas Day 6, and today we are making Christmas. No, we're not. Oh my god, okay. You can make, ooh, oh, it smells good. Ah.